name is Adrian Lowe. Genevieve Bell. Jeremy Smith. Matilda Douse. Nick Perbillis. Sam Chia. Sarah Fowler. Thomas Bitterman. Zoe Cornell. And I'm the Associate Dean of Education. And I'm a Distinguished Professor at the 3A Institute. And I'm a lecturer. At... And I'm a student. And I'm the Deputy Dean. And I'm a Diversity and Inclusion Coordinator. And I'm a student. And I'm the manager of the 3A Institute. And I'm the marketing manager at the ANU College of Engineering and Computer Science. Do you want to make a difference? Are you willing to take measured risks? Will you bring your whole self to achieving team success? Do you want to work with me to make something exceptional? Come join us. Universities exist to make a better future. We are the embodiment of the hopes and dreams of our society. Let me give you a specific example the Australian National University. The ANU was founded in 1946 to bring capability to a nation seeking its place in the world. If you take a look at what was going on at the time, Australia had just finished its first war with a regional neighbour. We'd pinned party to dropping the bomb. We'd just emerged from what was then the world's worst economic crisis and penicillin was just about to hit the market. And so it's perhaps not surprising that the foundation disciplines of the ANU were nuclear physics, economics, Asian studies and medical research. Interestingly, Australia really hadn't contributed at scale intellectually to solving a whole lot of those problems. So ANU was also tasked with experimenting with PhD education at scale. Now fast forward 70 years. And what's going on is climate change, sustainability, mass urbanisation, ageing populations, implantable technology, and post-globalisation. Software is going to eat the world with the societal and economic disruption that will follow. And of course, we're all worried about killer robots escaping into the wild. And the thread that runs through all of that is that our future is going to be all about how our actions and interactions are shaped by the digital, physical and biological world that we are making right now and that we're going to continue to make. Now, interestingly, if you go looking through history for moments in time where there's simultaneous technological, economic and societal disruption, you can find them. And you see two things. The first is that such moments bring about profound anxiety about where our world's heading. And the second is that this is usually the time when new engineering disciplines emerge. And that's because engineering is about bringing technological trust at scale. And actually, we stand at a moment in time like that right now. Brexit, Trump, fake news, post-truth, post-global, and of course, killer robots. This is the time for universities to remember what we're here for. It's the time to stand up and make a better future. And that's what we're doing at the ANU. ANU is making the most significant strategic investment since it was founded to make this happen. Yes, we're going to triple in scale over the next decade, but that's the consequence, it's not the goal. What we're really going to do is four things. We're going to lift the traditional engineering and computing disciplines up to a systems level, operating in the important interstitial spaces and with an understanding about people built in. We're going to invent the next engineering discipline, and this one's going to be about bringing trust to the way that we and our things interact through artificial intelligence. We're going to experiment with new ways of being and doing, and we're going to inspire a new generation to develop engineering and computer skills. So to circle all the way back to the beginning, we don't take a utopian or dystopian view of the future. We're making the people who will build the world that we all want to live in. Come join us. 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 Come join us.